hello everyone in this video I will be demonstrating how to create a weather dashboard in Power BI desktop but before subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can never miss any video by code Jams. at first we will import the data set from the Excel sheet and transform it to make it useful for the further process and go over here get the data go to the text in CSV go to the dashboard again and then click to open it will take some time to load so here you go you can see we have the data set city temperature CSV is in front of us and this is the preview uh, of our data set so before loading it into the power bi desktop what I'm gonna do is to transform the data to remove the unwanted columns and remove the unwanted stuff from uh, our table see over here that the state field is uh, entirely empty and uh, what about the other columns yes uh, we have other columns in a good state so from this I can remove this column from here just select the column right click over here and remove it so it will be removed from uh, this Excel sheet or you can say the table and before going further I will tell you what is this and where we are uh, editing this uh, Excel sheet and this is called the power query editor so all of the edits uh, has been take place in this power query editor now second thing is here you can see this is every temperature and and possibly this temperature is in Fahrenheit so what we're gonna do we will create another column with the Celsius and remove this one the every temperature or you can say we we can uh, have this column with the, the other column with the name of Celsius so how we will add the columns in the power query editor will go to add columns area and click custom columns okay this is custom column we will give the name now we have the formula to convert Fahrenheit type to the centigrade type so what is the formula I have written it over here this is the formula we will uh, copy this one and paste it over here and what will be the table name as you know we have the Fahrenheit temperature table is present over here we will click it insert it and uh, copy this one and paste it over here and as this is the bracket close we will set up an open bracket and we'll close this one so here so here you go we have a column named Celsius and this is Fahrenheit and this is the formula I will click OK now so you can see over here our uh, Celsius column has been created now to save the changes we'll go to home and close and apply it will take some time and load our data into the right pan so there you go the table has been imported you can see over here the average temperature Celsius city country day month region and year so this is a time that we will create or you can say we will design a weather dashboard so this is a very this is the most important part of uh, dashboard making so just stay tuned and uh, watch carefully how I am designing the dashboard over here at very first I want to have a, a background on the page that will look good so I'm using cutter or we can also take images as well but for now I'm using colors right now it's looking pretty good and after that I have to insert a text box over here 
for the you can say for the heading weather dashboard the months tradition quite small change it to 24 and uh, minimize this tab okay make it a bit center squeeze this one and uh, what else we can do with it now if I want to give a background I'll go over here and select the dark okay and select this text and make it white to stand out and make it bold as well okay that's looking pretty good now we have the visualizations over here we have different kind of visualizations stack bar charts and the stack column and other visualizations as well I have created a video I will provide a link in the description below so you can have uh, you, you can see that those videos to have more detailed demonstration about the visualization charts right now what will it do because we have countries over here so and we have cities we have uh, regions and state uh, we have regions over here so I will click the field map and uh, track this up and this is the city in fact I will remove it to have a country rather so we have a better view okay then some of the alignments by dragging and pulling up the space so right now I would like to have the what you can say a bit of styling of this map we will go over here this is our format pan or you can say format tab to format the map so data colors here you can see the data color has been changed have controls remaining remove the title okay then background no need for the background no need for other things okay so we have countries in the maps okay for the for the cities what I'm gonna take from here is the slicer so we can change and select the countries from here now we'll, I will drag the country table here that's looking good I will shorten the height and put it over here so I can have this one the slicer in the right place so we can easily select the countries and put it over here in the bottom right number two is the city we will I will take the slicer again and the city tab so we can have the cities as well some of the formatting of the city and uh, I will also minimize this height of the country as well and this will gonna city over here now we have the region table over here as well so I will select the slicer again and drop the region so you can see over here that we have the region as well and last but not the least in terms of the slicer we can have the ear to be posted over here like if we have the list yes if we have the list as well we have we will use card to 
know what is the temperature of the specific country city or anything so it's uh, quite clear and pretty clear regarding the countries and city regions and years so now I will select any of the country from here hit Pakistan so you can see over here we have two cities I will select Islamabad it is the capital of Pakistan it's the region Asia and if I want to have the weather of 2017 let's suppose so you can see over here this is 10 degree so one thing more that is very important if I want to know the day that what day the temperature uh, like the, the day temperature so what I what can I do I will have the slicer again and put the day from here and uh, make it the list down so you can see over here we have 31 days and from here I can select any of the day to know the exact temperature of that day if you want to have the month field as well so what you're gonna do I will f squeeze this one up and uh, take the slicer again and drop the month over here and make it a list field and for example 6 month number 6 so it is June and uh, the day will be 7 so you can see over here we have increase in the temperature because uh, June, July, April, these months are the the most hot in in, in Pakistan. Most of the parts uh, in in Punjab, in the Sindh, in the, in the in the provinces of Pakistan are hot. So this is the way we can have the demonstration of the weather. So you can easily create uh, the weather dashboard, and in fact, you can create a beautiful the dashboard uh, not this one this is a very basic one so I just uh, I just learning and uh, and uh, thinking to create a dashboard so just this is for you guys thank you very much for watching I will definitely come up with another visualization of the weather dashboard and uh, the links of the data set and this PIBX PBIX file is also available in the description below as well thank you very much for watching